Hey guys, welcome to Bash Gaming. I'm your host Chris. I'm John. And uh, today we're going to do, we actually got four videos to do. Um, we're doing a whole bunch of uh, sort of entry level graphics cards, just trying to see what kind of uh, bang you can get for your buck or however the saying goes. Bang bang. Bang bang. Bang bang. Um, what have we got today? We've got a Gigabyte GT 630, so pretty much the bottom of the GT, well the 6 series from the NVIDIA. Um, well, we'll see what we've got I guess. I mean, there there is the 620 and the 610 that come below this, but this is probably uh, as low as you'd want to go. Yeah, more exactly. or less to get to get your performance out. And for what you pay for it, I mean, you would you, you got no need to go any lower, really. So, um, I'll show you the boss up a little bit closer. <laughs> so it's. Again, this is a gigabyte version. Uh, it's it's very entry level. Uh, we're going to test it today to see exactly how capable it is um, playing all the modern games, and we'll benchmark it as well using 3D Mark, uh, 3D Mark 11, so Vantage 11, uh, Unigen, and we'll we'll chuck a couple of games in there as well. Um, <coughs> so we'll unbox it now, and we'll see what we actually get with this box. I think it's uh, we might get a graphics card. Well, let's hope so. So there's a couple of flies here. Warranty. And instructions that are in Russian and all sorts. Driver disc. Driver disc. Much necessary. And the graphics card itself. So I don't think there's... Uh, I think it's about it. Yep. I believe that's empty. We're good. Alright. And the graphics card itself. So you really don't get much in this box. Then again, you probably shouldn't expect a whole lot with this anyway. It is, like I said, very entry level. And we have the card itself. It's adorable. So if you want a closer look at that. In fact, I'll bring it right up. Is that picking it up at all? <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the shroud on it's actually quite nice. It's got an 80mm fan on there. Uh, the heatsink itself covers quite a bit of space. Um, I don't expect much heat to be coming off this thing, but we'll, we'll give the results on that as well. Uh, around the back, you've got uh, DVI, VGA, and HDMI as well, if you can see that, sorry. Um, so, quite a bit of connectivity for a uh, lightweight graphics card. I don't know what else is there to say about it. Nice shroud for a long code. Mm, really. Yeah. And this is very entry level. Um, <coughs> it's not going to cost you a fortune, it's quite cheap. And no need for peripheral power. Yeah, so it just runs just off of the PCIe lane. That helps for tidiness in the case. Um, it's one gigabyte of GDDR3 RAM. Um, and the frequencies, I'm not exactly sure. I'll probably I'll bring it on, on screen for you afterwards. Um, so yeah, all you get, graphics card, driver disc, a couple of flyers that you're probably not going to pay a whole lot of attention to, let's face it. And always update your drivers, use the disc just maybe to start or whatever, and then uh, get some new drivers from the internet. So, we're done with the GT630, uh, we'll get some graphics cards results and benchmarks and all that kind of stuff up for you, and we're going to keep going with the videos because we've got three more to do. Move onwards. Marsh. Marsh. Uh, the system that we're using to benchmark all these graphics cards is the same one as we always use. Uh, I've got the i7-3930K sitting on the X79 chipset, which is an MSI GD65, the 8 DIMM version uh, for the motherboard. And I've also got 1600 uh, MHz 16 gig of RAM. Sorry, I'll say that again. Uh, 16 gig of 1600 MHz RAM. Uh, it's a rip jaw stuff. And I'm running an OCZ 1250 watt PSU. So. And all benchmarks are running off of a Corsair Force 3 120 gig SSD. And we're running Vantage with the 630 at the moment. Bye bye. <laughs>
Alright guys, so you've seen the results on this car. Um, one thing I'd like to say before we push on is that this card, the GT630, is half the price of the other ones that have been benchmarked. Um, so considering that, I think the performance in this card is actually quite good. Uh, you're talking about a card that's it's geared at people that are um, perhaps looking at the entry level of gaming, something putting together a system that's uh, really quite cheap or just an upgrade from uh, you know uh, onboard graphics or something to something like this. Um, it's definitely capable of playing all the latest games, um, just not pushing the settings up. This is something that you, you're looking at medium settings uh, to have a relatively smooth experience. Games like Diablo 3, no problem at all. This runs it without any issues whatsoever. Um, but Skyrim and Sniper Elite V2, like you saw, um, running at full HD because all the uh, the tests were done in full HD. It, it struggles a little bit, so maybe push the resolution down, and I don't think you'll see any real issues, really. So considering its price point and everything, I'd say this is a great car. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to do the GT uh, 640 now. Bye.